Today's video, I put all of my Poshka Market Art videos in one. So I need y'all to tell me down below in the comment section, what is your favorite one? Let's get it. What's up, you guys? I can't believe we are customizing speakers. I really can't believe it. So the very first step you see me doing is basically I am sanding down the part that I am painting. You must sand it down before painting just so the paint can really adhere to the surface. So you guys, after I sanded, I actually sketched this off camera. It was very hard for me to sketch this on camera because it's like, as I'm sketching it, I'm making some mistakes and I have to erase it and I have to go over and do this and that. But all I'm doing now is taking my Posca pens and basically just coloring in the sketch. I'm doing actually a wave design. I think this is gonna look really cool. Make sure y'all really look at the whole process because it's very detailed. <music> I know some of y'all thinking, Xavier, that's not a wave. You just gotta keep watching it. Keep watching the video because it's all gonna come together. It's just this part, I have to just color in the blue and then I'm gonna get to like the lighter color blue. And oh my goodness, you guys, you just gotta keep watching the video. It's gonna be so cool how it turns out at the end. <laughs> So you guys, now we got the blue marker. Now we're about to go in, we're about to detail the waves. This is starting to look really good. Just keep on watching the video. It's gonna start coming all together. Okay, you guys so the next step is i'm actually taking my blue marker and i'm doing these lines because it's going to like create these waves like th this is some real like detailed kind of work that i'm doing and i'm really proud of how it's really coming out right now but you still gotta just keep watching it because it's going to really come all together
Okay, guys. So now it's time to do the sky, and we're gonna do the sky like a like an orange type sun, I, like almost like the sun is kind of coming down type vibes. That's that's kind of what I want to do. So that's why I'm using kind of like this color, and basically all I'm doing is painting in the sky. type design. This is like one of the most detailed things I've kind of done in a while. So you guys, we'll be working on this PS5 controller. I got some very, very cool ideas that I think I'm gonna do. But first and foremost, we gotta take off the cover piece. So this is where I got like this um, tool set from Amazon and it helps you like take off every little thing as far as the screws and all that. <laughs> So you guys, I just want to be completely honest with you. Taking apart a PS5 controller is very, very difficult. You know what I'm saying? So I put it all back together and we're going to customize it that way. And then if you just saw, I just want to test it out to see if it works. So you guys, the next step is I'm going to be taking red, that red volume tape, and then I'm going to tape up the sides because I'll be customizing like on the handles. So I don't want any paint to get like on the side or on the back side of the controller. <laughs> So after I painted it, I sketched it off camera just because it was hard for me to sketch and record. So now I'm going in with my Posca marker and I'm about to just go crazy on it. As you can see, all I'm doing is just outlining the sketch orange and then I'm filling in the lines with my orange Posca marker. And the next color I'll be using is yellow.
part is coming up is where I take the black Posca marker and outline the flames to make the flames really, really pop. <laughs> So you guys now it's time to do another controller and this one's gonna be like a slimy drip green the flame was dope but y'all gotta see this one though y'all might like this one better so stick around and watch to see what i do to this one So you guys, to make this slime effect really cool, I'm gonna just use this dark green. So I'm gonna go into where I already painted and just painted some very dark green. You guys here it go now we're about to outline the whole slime with this black posca marker and i'm trying to tell you it makes the whole custom pop when you do this <music> So you guys, we're gonna be doing a SpongeBob themed skateboard. So I just took a picture of SpongeBob from online and just cut it out. Hey, actually, my printer was out of ink. So don't try to don't try to come for me. Like you know what I'm saying? Like it's a little bit yellow, it's a little bit white. Look, printer ran out of ink. But all I'm doing is basically just tracing over it just to get my uh, sketch right. Um, you can do this with shoes, uh, cases. AirPod, I mean, you can do this with anything. This is a technique that I see a lot of artists out here use. Just take a picture and then just trace over and then just draw it just like that.
So you guys, now it's time to go in with the Posca markers, man. It's time to really, really bring this sketch to life. Um, we about to really go in right here. This is the thing. This got to be one of the um, one of the most detailed customs I've ever done, really. So just just sit back and just watch how I really make this all come together. So you guys as you can see it's all coming together but you just got to keep on watching just because like when i do the black lines and i just i start really coloring this in it's gonna really really start popping Now it's time to make those black sexy lines you guys now it's time it's like the black lines really just make this whole thing pop and y'all see like because I'm, I'm gonna make a thick like black lines later on it's gonna make it really really pop So you guys now we're about to do patrick i had sketched him off camera just because like just sketching takes a long time especially trying to record and do it at the same time so we're about to go in we're about to just go in with patrick because we had to add patrick to the skateboard is only right mm -hmm. 
So you guys, one of the last few steps of this is I'm going to be um, painting like this kind of bottom uh, piece of the skateboard, like making it like sand. Like that's what I want to do because I want to put this part like they're walking, like running on sand, basically.